Hello, everyone. Uh, okay, so, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a heathen holiday that, um, it happens to be one of my most favorites. And the reason that it happens one of my most favorites is not because of the show Vikings. It's because, um, it's because, um, his saga is so, um, interesting. And it is, um, R Ragnar Lodbrok Day. Oh, give me a break, Stephen. Um, and it is a heathen holiday, and it is, uh, basically celebrating him and reading from his saga. And I'm gonna actually bring it up because, um, Once again, if you... Okay. Alright, so... Oh, um, go. oh my god. Oh, you gotta Who pardon me. Okay. So, basically, uh, he is a legendary Viking ruler, a king hero from the Viking Age, described in Old Norse poetry in several sagas. And... Apparently, what he did was... He invaded Paris. He, he invaded Paris. And apparently he died from the... Apparently he died from combination of cholera and, and of course the wounds he got from invading Paris. He invaded Paris on Easter Sunday. And uh, the local Christian population did not like it, apparently. Um, I actually have never read his saga. And what um, I have actually been hearing about the show Viking is that it's actually based on his saga and how he went from, you know, who, you know, basically a Viking to a Viking king. The reason that I am really not remotely interested in the show Vikings is because it's not, um, it's not, it's not something that I'm really into. Um, and it is, you know, it's just, it's not really something I'm into. I am proud, I am happy that it is going, I think, going into the sixth season. And there's a lot of hype about the show and and these characters um and it was interesting they were saying that you know he wanted to convert to christianity because he wanted to be with his um ancestors so that was you know interesting but um yeah but um ragnar lodbrok is a pretty interesting character and, and what I'm actually happy about is that his saga was so popular uh, that they actually turned it into a show. <laughs> but it is a time to um, to give an offering to him for his um, bravery. And um, yeah, and it's um, you know it's it's something I look forward to. And to be absolutely honest, I. You know, none of these heathen holidays that I celebrate, I even pay attention to, you know, the Austro Folk Alliance and their, you know, oh, you know, let's remind people of what the Christians did during the Middle Ages. And I'm thinking, these people are dead and gone. You know, stop living in the past, so to speak. Um, I'm sorry, I just... I'm not a really a big fan of Steve McNallan. I mean, he has the right to have his opinion and stuff, but I'm really not a fan of him. And that's my right as an independent heathen to not like him. <laughs> okay, so I'm, so I'm going to um, let you guys go. I will be back tomorrow with another video. When Steven is currently at work, where I won't be hearing that, it's annoying, trust me, it's mega, mega annoying. So I'll see you around. Bye.